If humans don't die out in a climate apocalypse or asteroid impact in the next 10,000 years, are we likely to evolve into a more advanced species? It's hard to predict the future, but we can make educated guesses. Some scientists say that civilization ended natural selection. Selective pressures that dominated in the past, predators, famine, plague, warfare, have mostly disappeared. But evolution didn't stop. We still need to find partners and raise children, so sexual selection now plays a bigger role in our evolution. We're also facing new selective pressures, such as reduced mortality. We're becoming a kind of domesticated ape, one domesticated by ourselves. Humans will probably evolve to live longer, much longer. When mortality rates are high, animals must reproduce young or not reproduce at all. When mortality rates are low, the opposite is true. That's why animals with few predators evolve longer lifespans. In the past two centuries, better nutrition, medicine, and hygiene reduced mortality. Life expectancy soared to 70 years worldwide due to improved health, not evolution. But it set the stage for evolution to extend our lifespan. Our genes could evolve until the average person can live 100 years or even more. Animals often evolve larger size over time. It's a trend seen in tyrannosaurs, whales, horses, and primates, including hominins. While early hominins were small, Neanderthals and Homo sapiens grew tall. Why we got big is unclear. We've continued to gain height, partly driven by improved nutrition but genes seem to be evolving too. Also, human females prefer tall males. So both lower mortality and sexual preferences will likely cause humans to get taller. Humans have also reduced our muscles compared to other apes. As physical strength becomes less necessary, our muscles will shrink, our jaws and teeth will get smaller, and we'll likely lose our wisdom teeth. After people left Africa 100,000 years ago, Humanity's tribes became isolated. In various parts of the world, selective pressures caused tribes to evolve with distinctive skin color, eyes, hair, and facial features. With civilizations rise, these populations were linked again. This will create a world of hybrids with skin color and facial features tending toward a global average. Humans might become more attractive, but more uniform in appearance. Last, our brains and minds, our most distinctively human feature, will evolve, perhaps dramatically. Over the past six million years, hominin brain size roughly tripled. It might seem inevitable that this trend will continue, but it probably won't. Instead, our brains are getting smaller. It's unclear why. But brain size isn't everything. Einstein's brain was smaller than average, changing social patterns will also change personalities. Maybe at the cost of eliminating the sparks that created visionary leaders, great writers, artists, and musicians. There were once nine human species, now it's just us. Could new human species evolve? Distance no longer isolates us, but reproductive isolation could be achieved by selective mating and cultural segregation distinct populations, even species, might evolve. In some ways, the future might be radically unlike the past. And the most interesting parts of evolution aren't life's origins, dinosaurs, or Neanderthal. It's what's happening right now, our present, and our future. Thank you for watching. Simon Ready for the Neutronium Alchemist. And please, don't forget to subscribe. Oh,